good evening from Fort Wilderness. As you guys can see behind us, there's an RV right there. <laughs> we're here. We're, we're doing it. We're gonna RV it up this week. We're gonna do an RV camping trip. <laughs> so we did rent this RV. Very excited to check it out. I love RVs. So the other thing that's very exciting about this week and camping in general is that this is, it's cooled off. The weather is cold for us. It's uh, 69 degrees outside right now. So we're very excited to be here during like a good weather time. This RV is different than the one that we rented last time. I'll link our last RV trip down below, but this one is a little bit fancier. Oh yeah. So I'm excited. Do you wanna have a look around? I do. Yeah, let's have a look. So this is a Catalina Legacy Edition from Coachman. Uh, I'll have to look up and see how long it is because I think that this is a different one than the one that I looked at on the website originally, which was like a 32 foot. So we'll double check the length of this before we end this tour. But yeah, let's have a look around. So this is the front door to get inside. Of course, it has an awning on the outside with uh, some LED lights and some speaker systems to hang out out here and like jam out to some tunes. The JBL premium sound system. And then they, they told us, they said, don't go near this. Like, don't let, let any kids go near this because the hot water heater. There is an oh, out. Oh yeah, it's a leash link. It's so a, you can like yeah. put your dog on a leash right there. Bring all your furry friends. Yeah. This is the outdoor kitchen area here. We got a little griddle here, a little refrigerator outside. This is just storage. Yeah, look at that. I'm gonna cook some bacon on that. <laughs> nice. I also like, so there's a bunch of little signs around. I've already looked inside of this RV and they've kind of put a lot of like decorations or signs around. Oh, there's one that says um, dad jokes are told here. Yeah. And I was like, did they know you were coming? But I kind of <laughs> want to get this one right here, this meat temperature one. I've always like, I'm always concerned or confused about which the correct temperature is for meat. Oh yeah. And I need a sign. Let's take a picture of that one. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to hang it up outside of our grill. I'll get it laminated. Oh, okay. Another thing that we could rent from them is a Fort Wilderness approved fire pit. So in order to have a fire pit at Fort Wilderness, it needs to be this specific style. There is also a grill available here at Fort Wilderness, like some charcoal grill action. Uh, the rest of the RV is just kind of like normal RV stuff. So nothing too fancy about it, but we'll head inside and have a look at the inside. Oh, I did also want to mention one more thing before we go inside this little storage compartment up here. So inside here included in the rental was some chairs and a gas grill. So we're all set. Yeah, we've got everything we need. Also at the campsite is a picnic table and it's right outside our door. So be very convenient to eat some breakfast that. There's also some outdoor outlets on the outside so that you can have, you know, plug something in. Maybe you want to plug in a TV or a radio, even though you have a radio out here. A DVD a player. A DVD player. <laughs> so that's also something that's as far as Fort Wilderness goes, there is cable television hookups here. Oh yeah, we're playing the resort TV. I didn't know that it did that. <laughs> so we're going inside. So as soon as we step inside, these are all the controls for everything, the slide out and the awning, and then all the lights. And then just a quick pan around, as I was saying, there's all kinds of different little signs around that are fun. Love is a four-legged word. That's a fun one. Yeah, Disney's Fort Wilderness. I like this sign, it says shut the front door. No, really, shut it, you're letting bugs in. So from that shut the front door sign, which by the way, that's just a <laughs> a uh, storage area here with all of the, you know, there's a rice cooker, a blender, a toaster, various bowls and utensils, and then of course a broom and a dustpan for cleaning up. I like this, there's like a little fireplace here. It's very like, it, it, I know it's not a real fireplace, but it's very nice for like the ambiance. Right? Yeah. Uh, and there is a little panel here that you can hook in like, a DVD player. A DVD player? Ooh, that's where you keep your DVD player. Oh, wow. Yeah, and there's an, a US or a HDMI coming out of the TV, so you can plug something in there, too. Dad jokes told here. What's your best dad joke? Um, I only know one. What it's is it? It's a pirate joke. <laughs> what is it? The What's the pirate's favorite letter? Oh, you might think it's R, but really it's the C. Yeah, you already know, the, you already know it. That's because of my dad. <laughs> so this is the, the seating area here. This does turn into a bed. We're not going to use it as a bed. This also turns into a bed. We're not going to use that as a bed. Let's see this sign that you were talking about here. Oh, so the camping rules, right? Wake up smiling, hang out with friends, explore, make memories, nap, relax. Oh, nap often, relax and unwind. Keep the drinks cold, sing by the fire, enjoy the sunset, and be grateful for each day. But your shirt, you're wearing your camping rules shirt. We got this here at Fort Wilderness oh. the last time. 
It says sleep under the stars, swim, hike, fish, eat s'mores, watch the sunset, sit by the fire, make memories, relax, and unwind. So there you go. Some of them were the same. Yeah, I know. All but right. This is yeah. Check it out. This is from the 50th anniversary of Fort Wilderness. So where should we go first? Should we go into the main bedroom first? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Let's so this is the main bedroom, and in here is a what would you call this? A queen size bed, maybe? I don't know. It looks a little short. Let me see. I think there's just a couple too many pillows up top there. A, there are kind of a lot of pillows. They do um, provide you with towels, which is nice. A nice, so like, have... soft blankie. I don't know. Your feet are going to hang off. It's going to be like one of those old cartoons. Um, I don't know. It's, it's nice. I would say this is probably a queen. I think so, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, good it news. Kinda, it feels like you're sleeping in a cave. USB plugs on the side there. Because this, like, this curvy wall, it literally feels like we're going to be sleeping in a cave. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good sleep. Uh, more towels in there. And this is a, sh like, a shirt closet. Right there. You can hang your shirts in there. Some more storage above the bed. Yeah, this one has more towels, too. Oh. I like the little windows. Oh, what does this say? Relax, no hurries, no worries. Okay. Little windows here and there. One thing that we did last time, so if you notice, there's like a little shelf here. Mm -hmm. That is storage underneath where like the chairs were. And the last time we were staying in one of these, it was cold and I accidentally left that storage open and our room got oh, so cold. I remember, yeah. And I was, was like, why is it so cold in our room? <laughs> oh no. It's going to be chilly tonight, so we have to remember to close that. Right. Let's, so, let's look at the bathroom first. Oh, the oh. kitchen. Oh. I'll show the kitchen. So it's got a pretty good size refrigerator in here. It's not full size, but it is a good size. There's an oven, a cooktop, a microwave. Is this like a convection? Is this a real oven? It's a it's a gas oven. Yeah. Oh, it's just very tiny. Yeah. Okay. It's just an RV. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I just I wasn't sure if it was like a real oven. He's like the guy that showed us around is like if you're not using it, close it up and then you've got extra countertop space. Oh, nice. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's nice. He also told me don't touch that switch because it turns off the refrigerator. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the Flex Brew came with it. What's in here? Is there everything you need? Yeah, so we've got our like cookware. We've got our plates and cups. Plates and cups. We've got our silverware. Ooh, a, a lemon juicer. Yeah. That I was one of the amenities that they specifically said was in it. Well, I imagine people are probably making drinks, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. I get it. So uh, we probably won't. Cheese grater. Yeah, it's a nice cheese grater too. Ooh. But, but we could if you wanted to. I thought maybe these would be cutting boards. I don't know if they actually are. No, I think it's just so you have more counter space. Yeah. And then around the corner here is... Oh, oh no. Oh, dear. Did you just turn the oven? Well, or I, turn when the... I pushed it down, it turned on the sink. Oh, brother. <laughs> uh, this is the bathroom here. I like that they like specifically put something there so that it doesn't rub too much. Because everything is kind of tight quarters in an RV. Of course, you got a sink in here. Pretty good size shower. Like it's yeah, not this, bad. I, this I feel like this is gonna be a nice, a nice shower while we're here. Yeah. And the toilet. Yeah. Nice little toilet there. He gave us instructions on how to do the black water, which is your poop water. Oh. Yeah, and the gray water is just like your sinks and stuff like that. Oh, okay. All right. This is home, north, south, east, and west. And if we come through here, welcome to the bunkhouse. They've got fun and games. <laughs> yeah. This is nice. This is where Jackson is going to be staying. This is very like... Grandkids are spoiled here. I feel like, yeah, if I was a, a kid and we could do, like, and we had one of these, I think I would have loved this. Yeah. We used to travel in an RV and it was great. Man, that sounds like the life. Yeah. Where do you think Jackson's going to sleep? Up here? This is a super comfy one. I feel like he'll probably sleep in that one. Yeah. And then I think, um, where, yeah, the baby's pack and play is going to have to go somewhere too. Well, we can take this. This is just like a movable chair thing. It unfolds into a sleeping area. Oh, okay. So. Oh, that's nice. Somebody could be sleeping on the floor in here. Wow. Also, USBs. What's the weight limit on these? Oh, you want to sleep in this? I'm, I just, I want to like get up there and try it out, but I'm afraid. <laughs> I mean, I, I, it doesn't seem. Okay. Maybe. I, I wouldn't. Maybe I won't. <laughs> <laughs> some storage underneath here not a whole lot of storage but oh, just some like extra blankets bedding. and stuff that's nice yeah this is actually this is smaller than the one that we stayed at before yeah because the, the one before had like a huge room with four actual bunk beds yeah well, two on each side yeah so it was like definitely this one is a little bit smaller but it doesn't feel 
the the other the living space doesn't feel smaller just this one room feels right. smaller so i don't know i i really like it also i feel like if you brought like your xbox here you could probably set it up hook it up to this tv yeah kids could be sitting on this you're not playing xbox while you're camping mm, some kids you're are camping you're relaxing you're making memories you're s'mores you're napping you're exploring you're hanging out with your friends <laughs> just <laughs> just reading, reading the, the sign. sign so that's the whole thing that's the entire rv now we need to un un unload the car yes get everything inside that needs to come inside so we will also link below the company that we rented the rv from this is not sponsored we rented this with our own money we did this all on our own mm -hmm. but if you want to check out their inventory or or rent this specific rv um we'll leave their info down below so you can at least check them out if you're interested also for the week our friends over at s'more rentals provided us with a golf cart for the week i'm so excited this is like the nicest golf cart that we've ever had yeah look at <laughs> I set up the lights on orange Ooh. for Halloween. So they did say they came and they um, like showed us the ropes and like how to use it and all the different features, which is a nice amenity for them to come and do that because I don't think I would have known how to use this. But the lights, they said you can do any configuration. Yeah. So we could have done like purple and green, or purple and orange for Halloween or any color. I started like clicking through it and it was there were so many that I was like, all right, we'll just leave it at orange <laughs> and we'll go from there. I love it though. So you know we've been talking about getting our own golf cart. Yeah. And I'm like, this. I, I want this one. This is the right? one I want. It's very nice. Yeah. He said every seat has a seat belt and a cup holder. Yeah. Also, because we are in nature, wasps. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's just it like a wasp. A free wasp. No, didn't come well, with that. It was just because I, I moved it over here next to the creek and it's yeah. just like a wasp is hanging out with us. That's so funny. But like, I love the armrest. Yeah. This is so nice. Oh, and each seat has a seat belt too, so we can put the car seats in here yes. and like really strap them down good. Well, so the last time we were here, we did that, but we just used a, like a ratchet strap. Right. So we'll probably do that as well. We'll probably just double do it, but yeah. it's nice to have that already on the golf cart. And right. so again, because- Oh yeah, just like this. Oh, yeah. We could be listening to Thriller. Yeah, yeah. I love that. That's gonna be us. Yeah, because there is a Bluetooth speaker system back here. This is pretty nice. Yeah. And it just hooks right up to your phone. Yeah. But this is something that I thought was really neat. This flips for storage. Yeah. So like we can put the stroller back here. We can put like any groceries, any merch, anything that like anything. We can just put it back here. That's so yeah. nice. There's also storage underneath the back seat here. Oh, is there? So right there. Oh yeah. You can put stuff underneath there. And this you can actually strap stuff to. So like oh. if you had your golf bags, you can strap them it. to that. Something that I really liked about this rental company, about Small Rentals, is that they have three golf carts. Right now they have three six-seaters. They are. They said they were looking into getting some four-seater golf carts as well. But of the three, each of them has its own name. So this one is Charlie. Charlie. And this is actually named after the owner's dad. Oh. So it's like in. It's like kind of like in memory of him, which is really cool. Yeah. Like in tribute to him. There's their phone number if you're interested in renting yeah. a golf cart. They do deliver to Fort Wilderness too. Yeah, like I said, she came, like set it, set it up, made sure it was all nice and charged, like told us how to use everything. It was great. I love it. Yeah. Very, very excited to be like, you know, going looping. I can't wait to go looping with Charlie tonight and I get to drive the golf cart. Yeah. Pretty cool. Also, you guys know me. What's that? USB <laughs> plugs right there perfect oh something else that they showed us too i think it's in this one was the it has a a oh. car like a phone holder that goes in the cup the yeah. cup thing so that you can use your phone to do the the speaker or she said scavenger hunts that made me wonder like are there scavenger hunts here i'm scavengering for a turkey <laughs> do you see one no i'm just saying like maybe there's one somewhere <laughs> okay. or a deer <laughs> All right. Well, we can we can put our, our phone in the phone holder and do some scavenger hunting. So I can't wait to explore the resort. We're not going to do that tonight because we're here a little bit later. Uh, but this week, for sure, we're going to be exploring. Yeah. Oh, look at all their inflatables. Oh, yeah. There they are. Oh, they're, they're like pumpkin carving. Oh. Oh, a Bucky's one. Oh, it's a Bucky's one. That's fun. We uh, mobile ordered some dinner from Trails End. From Trails End. We're gonna go pick it up right now, but we also have a friend that's coming to visit us and we're gonna go pick him up from there too. There they are. Oh, it's a sandwich. Oh, they had a bluey one. Did they? Yeah. Oh, look at these. Hitchhiking ghosts. They're in their doom buggy. Oh, there's a fire. There's a fire in them. So that's our loop. There it is. Everybody's very festive. Oh, look at this side. This is the one that we chose. Oh, yeah. 
they got oh, yeah, everything. They have the huge, the huge Mickey pumpkin inflatables. They have and one just, that was like a Mickey candy corn. Oh yeah, look at that. I love candy corn. So the last time that we stayed in an RV, in an RV, we halfway through our stay. Oh, we're passing by the pool. So we're like right next to the pool, aren't we? You can see the fountains. It's a little bit too chilly for that right now, I think. Maybe we'll check it out though. On the day that we come to do our exploration of the fort. We will definitely be checking out this whole area. Here's the bus stop. There's a Coke machine, uh, some information, a directory, a map. I just love the fort. I definitely feel like when we retire. Food truck campfire movie. Oh, what? That's what it said on the sign back there. I didn't get the rest of it. What's the movie? I don't know. But when we retire, I think we're gonna be like RV people or like camping people. Yeah. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, we're by the dog park. There's a full on dog park. Look at those big buddies. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a little dog park too. This is for the little guys. And a playground? This is the playground that Jackson really loved. But there's also an even better playground out by the trading post. Yeah. There's another. Everybody has this Mickey pumpkin guy. Pioneer Hall. Here we come. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> you can do it. I believe in you. I'm so used to driving an electric vehicle. This one's like got a bit more kick than the electric vehicle. <laughs> I wish we had gotten a spot over here. These and there's the, some cabins over here too. Like two cabins over here. Yeah, this is like premium, premium. Why. Man, you probably gotta book those in like way in advance. Can you imagine being in a cabin right by the playground and by where you get all the food and by right. the, the boat launch? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the, so the last time we stayed, I'll link this video down below, but we, we rode on that horse. We did a carriage ride, it was amazing. Everybody has decorated their golf carts. Look at this one. Happy Halloween, boo. Minnie is a little bumblebee. Mickey is a little skeleton guy. Oh, so this is a Fort Wilderness golf cart that they rented from Fort Wilderness. So you can decorate them. Yeah, you, you just got to bring all your stuff. Zip tie it to it and then cut them off. Huh. Oh, be careful. A skeleton might follow you home. <laughs> I like how he's um, strapped in though. Yeah, he's safe. <laughs> We're in a seatbelt. We're stopping off at Trails End. Pick up our food. We did a mobile food order. We got to stop by here and eat here one time though. In the stairs, there's some spurs and some sheriff's badges. Marshall badges. Spooky mini cookies and cream with... Oh, I should have gotten this. Amazing. The cornbread cupcake. But we're inside a trail's end. There's Nick. Hey. He was just hey. over at Magic Kingdom and said, I'm coming right away. Just hanging out. I got a coffee. Feeling good. Oh. <laughs> they redid this. It's yeah, totally different. It's all new. Yeah. It was it shut was down so for a while. I didn't know that. They do have some like grab and go type stuff. Ooh, chocolate chip cookies. I do need those. Don't I? Yes. What else do we got? Some just some wheat bread? Two slices of wheat bread for sale. Oh, this is what I need. Like a s'mores cookie. I can't have the fire tonight because we got in a little bit late, but I can have a s'mores cookie. Perfection. These are the dipping sugar cookies with buttercream for dipping. They also have like a little pumpkin cookie over here. They have grab and go stuff too. So you can just get like a grab and go fried chicken, blueberry pudding, uh, smoked brisket and then just like a full rack of ribs. Oh, a brisket sandwich, turkey sandwich. See, this is nice because these things were not in the mobile food order, like options. But there's a bunch of other stuff that you can get if you just come down here and do a quick service. You can also get a s'mores kit. Brilliant. Is it? Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Best ten bucks you'll ever spend. No, you probably get it for cheaper at Publix. I was so hungry that I forgot to show the full sandwich, but I got the barbecue pulled pork sandwich. I want that. And <laughs> Jackson's been stealing my I'll French fries. I'll be having these. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be having this one. He has his macaroni and cheese. So we're in the stage Look at right. This. Well, we're in the stage right now where he only eats like a, a few things, and that's one of the things he eats. So we brought his food with us, but I'm sure we'll definitely try some things as the trip progresses. Yeah. I got the half slab of ribs with mashed potatoes and gravy and some coleslaw. That looks so good. I don't know. I know a lot of people are divided about coleslaw. I like coleslaw. This is actually kind of spicy. Ooh. Like black pepper spice. Okay. So I don't know. I like it. This doesn't have enough sauce on it or, or any sauce. So I got a, I, I got some barbecue sauce that I'm oh. going to mix with mustard. Oh no, I took one of those barbecue sauces. I got extra. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. Everybody's asleep except for us. <laughs> now it's time to really get down and party. Sing by the fire. Yeah. Keep I... the drinks cold. Enjoy the sunset. Be grateful for each day. The sign. <laughs> I was reading the sign right there. So we just finished dinner and it's delicious. I really like mine. I remembered the ribs being a lot better than they mm. were. <laughs> they just, these were not as like fall off the bone, like lots of meat. They were a little more disappointing. The flavor was very nice, but they, they just weren't as like tender and delicious as I remember. 
They also didn't have any barbecue sauce on them. Yeah, the dry rub. They didn't have that either. They had a flavor, didn't they? They were just smoked. Oh. Yeah, so uh, keep that in mind if you get them to go. Make sure you grab your sauce because you're going to need it. I'm interested to try. They had some other items there when I was looking around at the grab-and-go stuff, like a brisket sandwich. Mm. I'd like to try a brisket sandwich. Yeah, I wonder how I wonder how it is. Right. I'm sure we'll try more food on this trip. They also had a cornbread muffin, like cupcake. Ooh. And it had maple bacon frosting on it. And candy popcorn. Yeah. Like it sounded caramel corn. It sounded very interesting. Oh and <laughs> that's the AC. Air conditioner turns on like every two seconds. But it works really well. Yeah. Like it's it's very it's cool. It feels great in here. So that's good. Uh but it's not like um motion censored right no well that's good that's a plus it was run all night yeah <laughs> but i also the mashed potatoes and gravy were delicious the uh, coleslaw also very good a little bit black peppery heavy but i liked it yeah. so i don't know I, I did like my dinner i just wish the ribs were a little more tender and a little more meat on the ribs okay and then yeah. for dessert uh oh my i had the pulled pork sandwich it was good yeah tasted good it was tender, and it was, I don't know, it was good. It tasted like pulled pork. <laughs> then for dessert, I had the strawberry shortcake, mm -hmm. and it had been sitting for like an hour. So it like really soaked yeah, up the... Yeah, really soaked up the strawberry. It was good. So just as an FYI, our dinner cost about $40. Pretty typical for Disney prices. Not cheap. Yeah. Not cheap, but it's not the most expensive meal that you could have here either. At so. Fort Wilderness or at Disney? At Fort Wilderness. Oh, I was going to say the most expensive meal at Disney. We'll put a link to that in the description down below. <laughs> it was definitely cheaper than that. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, I don't know. I think it was a great first day. It I was. did. I had big plans to cook dinner tonight, but we just it, the night the night got away from us. Right. So we um, we had our dinner, and uh, maybe we'll cook more some of the other days. Actually, yeah. I know we will. Yeah, and we're gonna have s'mores. Yeah. Campfire it up. We got so much s'more stuff. Yeah. Like, we're gonna have s'mores for days. And we gotta go <laughs> looping still. Yeah, I'm See, very. Now turned off. Yeah, it doesn't stay on very long, it, it, but it does work really well, so that is a plus. But yeah, I can't wait. It is Halloween here at the fort, so I can't wait to look at everybody's uh, decorations. We've seen, we saw a bunch today, but I want to see more. And I want to have a little shiver. The air conditioner working good. <laughs> yeah, I want to try more food. We want to head into the parks. I'm just, I'm excited for this week. So I hope you guys have fun hanging out with us this week. Yeah. Come see us tomorrow for some more Fort videos. Oh, also just as like a little FYI, I am going to a Halloween party tonight or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That Mickey's not so scary. Not like I'm just like going to a Halloween party, like at a friend's house. What if they had somebody like here had a party? Ooh. Wouldn't that be fun? Maybe they did. Yeah. Like in their RV. Yeah. That would be a very tight party. It would. That's true. It's so funny because this is a pop out right here like, oh, that we're it? sitting in. Yeah, we're like supported out, cantilevered out. Oh. But like, I was just looking at like how skinny this is. Yeah. Even with the pop out. Yeah. Out. Hmm. What is that? Somebody driving with some music playing. I think somebody's having a Halloween party. <laughs> but yeah, so, oh, the other thing that is sort of like different about this trip is that Jackson has school this week. So we planned this before Jackson was enrolled in school. So we, we didn't plan the dates very well, but so we're going to take him to school in the morning. We're going to pick him up from school tomorrow, but I just, you know, we're, we're just living our life here at the RV. Yeah. Doing regular stuff like going to school. Yeah. It's going to be neat. Making school lunch. Making we, school lunch. We got to get ready for show and tell on Friday. We got to, you know, there's just all the stuff that we got to do. We got to do it. So. I like how you put on a little accent when you were telling us, <laughs> we just got to do all the things. <laughs> it's got to be done. I can't wait to hang out outside a little bit tomorrow, too. I think tonight we're just too tired, but tomorrow you it's going to be... You have to light the fire yourself. Me? Yeah, I'm not going to be here. Oh, no. I'm be at Magic Kingdom tomorrow. I don't know how to do that. Uh, best learn. Oh, I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm not doing it then. You're going to just be next to this fire right here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Try to make s'mores on that. <laughs> it is a heater. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. But, like, it's not a real fire. Oh, so tomorrow we'll explore the fort in the daytime. Yeah. That's what we'll do. One thing about an RV, too, is, like, when you move around in here, the whole thing kind of, like, wiggles a little bit. It feels like we're on the cruise. It feels like you're on a little cruise ship. Yeah. I was putting the baby to bed in our room, 
and you were putting Jackson to bed in the bunk room and I was like whoa what what was that because it literally swayed yeah it was just me yeah walking <laughs> just being a large lumbery man <laughs> uh, one thing I did want to mention though is that you can hear the fireworks I think we said this in our last RV video you can hear the fireworks like pretty clearly but you can't see them from this where we are campsite yeah. and we could hear the water pageant the electrical water pageant sounded like it was literally in the rv right very loud it was so loud why is it so loud oh yeah it's this premium sound system i guess <laughs> i don't know i just thought that was kind of funny but yeah so you you can you can hear the, the noises of the kingdom yeah it's like nature directly into your rv so all right we're gonna go to bed but all in all it was a fantastic first night in the rv so with that being said, we're off. We'll see you all tomorrow. Stay tuned for more camping, RV, camping, Fort Wilderness, good times to come. Yeah. And with that being said, we're off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. Yeah.